Hi everyone, I hope you are well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about or exploring the reasons why the Dutch don't wear a helmet whilst cycling. Here are some of the reasons that I found. Number one, biking skill level. So many people here have been riding a bike since they were very, very young, since so they were a baby. And okay, maybe as a baby, you're not actually physically riding, but you're still on the bike with your mom or dad. So you will see bikes here that have been fitted out with like little baby seats. And then from there, um, you know, you also have these bikes without pedals. So it's more about like balance. And then, you know, kids are getting their own bikes and it progresses, you know, it progresses from there through to school, through to college, through to university. And, um, you know, people might be riding on a, a daily or a, a weekly basis. So the skill level and, and confidence level, you know, it is understandably very, very high. Number two, motorists. So one of the most dangerous things that can happen to a cyclist is being hit by a car. Um, and this is related to the biking infrastructure, uh, but also the behavior of a motorist. And in Amsterdam, the biking infrastructure here is really, really good. And if you're thinking about the motorists, most of them will be cyclists themselves. So that means that there is a lower chance of being hit by a car here. And I've definitely noticed the behavior of drivers here is different. Number three, inconvenience. Now having to deal with a helmet is a bit of an inconvenience, especially, you know, if you're going to lots of different places on your bike, it is a lot of hassle. And there is also the argument that if helmets were made mandatory, it would discourage people from cycling. And um, this would have a knock-on effect because um, people would be doing less exercise and that would mean um, a higher you know, public health cost. Number four, speed. So speed is another reason why people don't wear helmets here because on average, people are not cycling that fast here. There is, there is like a certain cadence that you see and it's really not that fast. However, I would like to say that on a bicycle path, you can also find, for example, um, e-bikes, race bikes, um, scooters, and sometimes those um, like little cars as well. So those, those can and they do go faster. Please hit that like button if you are finding this video interesting. And you know, if you are based in the Netherlands and you are a cyclist here, um, I would be interested to know what your take is on helmets. You know, leave me a comment below. So now that I understand this better, my take on all of this is that I respect other people's decision on whether they want to wear a helmet or not. My decision is that I will always wear a helmet. And I wanted to share with you the helmet that I wear because it is really cool. Um, it is made by a company called Thousand. So the company was founded by a lady called Gloria, um, who was a longtime cyclist. Um, and she never wore a helmet because they were too bulky, um, too futuristic looking and too inconvenient. But when she lost a friend to a fatal bike accident, that's when she started the company um, to design a better helmet. So yeah, I, I, I really admire this story and I, I really think their helmets are very, very good. And there are two main reasons why I bought a, hel a thousand helmet. And the first is that I can lock my helmet to my bike. And, and that is awesome because carrying a helmet around, nobody wants to do that, right? So. In the helmet, you have this uh, little hole, or it's like a, it's like a socket, um, and there's actually a cover to this little hole. But I removed it, um, and what you can do is you can thread a, a cable lock through so that you can lock your helmet to your bike, and you don't need to keep carrying it around with you during the day. The second really cool thing about having this helmet is that if you get into an accident, they will replace that helmet for you because. You, you should never reuse a helmet that's been in an accident because it won't protect you anymore. So as you may know, I've been in a few accidents already and um, I laugh about it now. It wasn't funny at the time. But yeah, in, in this older video, you know, the, the helmet, especially the front of the helmet, it took the brunt of my fall and I still cut, wow, gosh, I still cut up my lip. But um, yeah, it was, it was not as bad it was as it could have been and really grateful for the helmet. And so I, I contacted Thousand, I, I told them about the accident and true to their word, 
they sent me a replacement helmet free of charge and pretty quickly as well too. And some of the other nice features are that there is a magnetic clip and the, the I love the sort of semi retro design of the helmet. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not ugly like some of the other helmets are on the market. And you can also change the visor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.